Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my top picks for the best lipsticks for the summertime. And also at the end of the video I'm going to tack on like a little mini haul of some, some things that I got for a really good deal or something that was really hard to find that I finally got and actually one of them might make you laugh. But first we'll start off with the lipsticks. So the first lipstick that I have here in my little pile is actually it's a, it was a limited edition but you can still find it on eBay and it's the Vivid line from Maybelline and it's in the color Brazenberry and of course it's purple you guys know I love purple but it, I have other colors in this as well but it's just a really pretty purple I got I got it because after I got the MAC heroin, I didn't really want to use that so much because I paid so much for it. So I grabbed another purple lipstick. And this one's lighter than the heroin, but it's really, really pretty for the summer. Next lipstick is Ravishing from MAC. And it doesn't look, look like much in the package, but it's just a, it's a really pretty coral orange color. And that is it right there. It's just a really pretty orange color. Um, coral is really in for the summer. You don't feel like paying that much for a lipstick, $16, $18, $20 for a lipstick. I found a dupe for it. And it's in the Lip Butter line, and it's Tutti Fruity. And in the package, it looks darker than Ravishing, but watch when I swatch it. That's the Lip Butter. That's Ravishing. Look how close they are. So that's really, really, really awesome. The reason why I bought these, because I bought them close together, is because I got this in my Ipsy bag, which is the Starlux Naked Luscious Lip Pencil in the color Naked. And I didn't have anything this color. So I picked those two lipsticks up. And it's just a tad darker than them, but you can definitely make it work. You can actually line your whole lip underneath with this color, with this liner, and then put those on top. But this color is also from the Lip Butter line. And it is in the color Cupcake. So for you guys who don't really venture into the purple route or the coral orangey route. And you like your typical nudes or pinks. This is just a really pretty like sheer Barbie type color pink. hope I'm getting a good view swatch of it. I mean I got it. It's really sheer but you can build it up. And the lip butters are just really moisturizing for your lips, but I really like that one. And it look, it's like a blue-based pink, so it'll make your teeth look white. Heart, and it is the color Precious, and it's the Lip Surgeons Lip Creams. This one is more of a darker pink, right there. It's just really, really pretty. I just I don't know how much to say about it. I really like these. The the lasting power are, is really good for the Tarte Lip Surgeons. And also, if you don't like the chemical smell of like the Revlon, and you don't like the vanilla -y smell of like the NYX and the MAC, these are like a minty smell, and it smells so good. I really like the smell of these. And that is the color Snob. And it's just a really, another pretty pink. It's kind of close to the Cupcake with the lip, in the Lip Butter line, but it's not a sheer. This one is a satin, and that's it right there. I think this is one of Mac's most popular colors. I did put this one in my last video, but I just want to go ahead and add it in because I will I will be wearing this all summer, and it's the new Liquid Lipstick Elixir from Maybelline. And you guys probably already know what it is, but I just freaking love it. And it's uh, number 40, Vision and Violet. That one. I love it. Now, I love my heroin from MAC, and I love the Brazenberry, and I think I have a couple other purples, but this one, it just feels so good on the lips, and it lasts so long. The staying power of this formula is just amazing, so if you don't like purple, but you want a good staying power, this form, I would definitely recommend this, for, um, this formula, this product. Final lip product, or the lipstick for summer is the Maybelline Baby Lips and any kind but this one is particularly my favorite and this one is Cherry Me with SPF I don't think they all do but they could I don't know I don't think so but that one is Cherry Me it's just really sheer so if you feel like if you got say you've got like a really pretty extreme 
eyeshadow going on one day and you don't want to wear big bright lipstick just I want to maybe lips and you know you just have like a really sheer pretty color and you really can't go wrong with that show you my little mini haul of some odds and ends that I got okay. first I picked up I've been trying to find these forever because they came out at Christmas time and it's the Be Merry Be Bright set from Too Faced I'm trying to find this for a long time because I didn't get to pick it up at Christmas time they're just they're really really nice I'll start off with it hold on a second I am burning up I'm burning burning up I'm gonna throw my hair up real quick okay never mind the hairdo but I'll show you the Be Merry first because it's more of the neutral side and that's it right there you get six shadows a blush and a bronzer and they're really really pretty I'll swatch a couple of them for you I don't want to go in too much of in depth because it's not a full review but I'll swatch a couple for you okay so the first one is very merry the second one is brown sugar wait never mind that's buttered rum buttered rum brown sugar and then the blush is Peachy King. They're so pretty. I don't know why I didn't swatch anything on this one, but they're just. But that's not why I bought it. I bought it for the Be Bright side. Look at that. Look at those colors. So you also get six eyeshadows, and in this one, you get a highlighter instead of a bronzer, and you get a blush. So I'll definitely swatch some of these for you. Okay, this one is marvelous. <laughs> this one, this one is bright eyes, and I, it's just a really pretty hot pink, and I'm not even sure what to do with that one yet, but I'll figure out something. Now I'm not flipping you off, but this one's sequin. Look at that. I'm not even sure this camera's doing justice. Freaking gorgeous. The next one is Starry Night freaking crazy I mean this and this has a shit ton of excuse me, silver in it and then the highlighter is just called inner lights and it's just a really pretty gold based highlighter I have it on today I'm not sure you can see but it above my cheeks here and it's just really 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 pretty I might swatch this on my arm if I can They're just freaking crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm not even sure that this camera is doing it justice, but they're just freaking gorgeous. This color would be so pretty to line with, and all of them would be pretty as a line. I'm not sure what to do with this one, but I know that you could just wear this one, you know, under here, and it would be really, really, really pretty. So maybe I'll do a look with that. The next thing that I ended up picking up, and it's just, it's hilarious. Okay, don't don't laugh. But, yes, I got the naked palette. Oh, I ain't even showed you inside yet. <laughs> okay, I got a friend that lives near me, and she don't even really wear this type of, this type of makeup very much. And she had this, and she was basically going to throw it out. She sold it to me for $10. This is a freaking $50 palette. 50, I think they raised their prices, so it's actually $54. She said that she dropped it outside in the Walmart parking lot, and it got ran over. But that you know the packaging, whatever, and it's not gonna look as pretty. But the reason I bought it is that right there, and they're all still intact. Some of them might be lo like looking chipped and everything, but they're still there. They're still in perfect, perfect condition. They they're just as beautiful as ever. Heck yeah, I'll heck yeah I'll give ten dollars for that they're just I mean I don't have to really go in depth with the swatches everybody knows the naked palette but what cracks me up is the brush uh, that's hilarious and that doesn't yeah what did what ran over a bicycle that's hilarious but yes I will love this no matter if it looks like shit I will just I love it I thought that was a pretty good find okay so the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was something that I have been looking for for a long time. Back, if you know me, then you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with Lady Gaga. I, I love her. So when I first got it, started getting into Mac lipsticks, I found out that she did a line 
Uh, I think she done them like this in 08. She did a, like two lipsticks for them for the Viva Glam. It took me forever to track it down, but I finally found the lipstick and I got it in the freaking box. I paid $30 for it. And before you say anything, yes, that's a lot for a lipstick, but this is a limited edition MAC lipstick. So, and it's really, it's kind of, it's really hard to find. I mean, I got it in the box. It wasn't even used. It's brand new. Brand new. And you see it's got her signature. Okay, right there. It's got like her autograph on the side. Brand new. I swatched it. Uh, I'll swatch it for you. I don't, I don't mind swatching it, but I definitely don't want to use it. And this is a luster. And she came out with two, and this one's the pink one, and she came out with a nude, and it's just Viva Glam Gaga too. But that is it right there. I have lots of other paints close to that, so I don't really have to break it out and use it. So I'm just kind of wanting to collect it. But I just wanted to show you guys because I have been looking everywhere for this. Anyway, that was my little mini crazy haul, and that was my picks for summer lipsticks. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, I'm planning on getting a camera within the next week, so this video is looking good. So please subscribe. And gotta go. Game of Thrones is tonight. Gotta edit this video and get it up. Bye, guys.